YouTube. Right, so going on this double decker bus. I've never been on one of these before over here. So I don't know if they've been imported from India or the UK and utilized and reconditioned. So we're on our way to the new Metro line, which opened about a year ago. Actually, what's on this bus? I'll have a gander. I'll take you for a little bit of a tour. Let's go upstairs and see what they're like. Look at this, they even have fans. You wouldn't get that in London. There's all the way to the front as well. I expect this view. Right, I'll go back to my own seat now. Disrupting everyone on the top deck. <laughs> so, here we are at the bottom, more or less. And back on my seat there. So I guess I'll just sit back, relax and enjoy the trip to the Metro line. This is a chap taking your ticket orders. I believe they used to call them bus conductors back in the day. And it's packed now, as you can see. And we're here. So this is the grand entrance to it. And a staircase connecting to the main section. There's a lift there. I'm going to take the scenic route of the staircase, of course. This is Japanese ingenuity combined with what you have here. It is really strange to see this in Bangladesh, a developing country with now Japanese modern technology. It's as if you're in Europe now, except you're surrounded by brown people. <laughs> right, so the next stage is to buy a ticket. And there seems to be quite a bit of a queue at the ticket office there unless there's an automated machine we can use we'll see what Farhad does he's in charge okay so we've joined the queue <laughs> so Farhad how many times have you been on this metro before uh, three times though. only three times okay yeah. well guess what this is my first time <laughs> So tickets been bought. This is what it looks like. I've got to slide it through the machine there. Or maybe just tap. Oh, I'm through. I made it. Bora has having a bit of problem. He has to go back or through the other way, maybe. Up the escalator to the next level. So Farhad, Farhad, look at this sign here. Does that mean it's 16 minutes away, the next one? Yeah, maybe. Or oh, six, six minutes. minutes. Oh, the next one's six minutes. Okay, so this is what the track looks like. And this is a map of the metro line in the local language of Bengali. We're only 13 minutes to Agagaon. We weren't able to go to the station of Karan Bazaar, unfortunately, because that's only open till midday due to them running trials for some reason. Don't know why they can't have it open 
all day and uh, use that for the trials. Got to wait patiently. And also looking at the ticket. It's quite cool, well designed with various Bangladesh landmarks. It's Ajahn time now. Strange, it said out of service on the front of it, yet it's stopping. So I wonder if we're allowed to get on. As you can see there, out of service. No, yes, yes. So here I am on my first metro in Dhaka, Bangladesh. The best grab of seat. It's a lovely green colour as well. Lime. <laughs> and that's the view outside. So this is the final stop and we have another three miles or five kilometers to go so we'll see what alternative transport awaits us down below. Exit now. I have my ticket ready. It's an unfortunate state of affairs as people pushing in when there's no need to be. Seems to be only three turnstiles actually that could do with a lot more here. I must say it's disgraceful this because there's just too many people over here but we're going to get through in the end that's my only gripe of this service so far we're nearly there now I'm a single okay. ticket. Single ticket. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And we're finally through. <laughs> thank goodness for that. You'd think that when you're exiting, it'll be just straightforward, but they have to make things complicated here. But hopefully, they will get it sorted further down the line. So I have to show you this. Looks like a bit of a boating lake over there. A murky green colour of the water, so I wouldn't fancy swimming in that. So we're going to head down to the crazy hustle and bustle of central Dhaka. Oh my goodness. I tried to avoid it so far and I even didn't see much of it last year. But still, got to experience it once. All it is is non-stop car, bus, truck, horns and horns from CNGs, bells from rickshaws. Look at that. <laughs> and there's the metro line, what it looks like from up above. It does continue, but they decided to kill it here because, as I mentioned before, it's just running on a trial basis beyond this point. So it's not completely finished, I guess. So quite a few vendors around, 
to what Fodhat can do. I think we need to go via CNG. Sorry? Going to... I've already told you a million times, uh, type in drone doctor. Yeah, we're going to get the drone fixed because Dodo Explorers got the drone fixed by this outfit and they did a brilliant job, so they come highly recommended. Eskaton Garden Road. Okay, so we'll have the fare sorted. Oh, these are always a tight squeeze, these CNGs. And if you remember on the vlog from last year, they lock you in. But that's for your own safety and for crime. So Fordad, how much did he say the fare was? 250. 250. 250 taka. Not too bad anyway for the, the distance we're going to travel. So. That equates to, I think it's about two euro, 20 cent, two pounds sterling, and whatever that is in US dollars. Finally released from the CNG uh, as far as we can go and then um, we just have to find a way to get under that bridge to where we're going to Port Drone Doctor. So Port has sorting him out there. Got to cross this road and avoid the rickshaws in the process and the odd car. The amount of street vendors is endless. Any nook and cranny, you'll find them. So I've just got to check Google Maps to make sure we're going in the right direction. I think it's down here, yeah. Looks like it. It's an unusual place to have a shop, but it seems to be in this apartment block. So let's see where it is. That's what I've been told anyway. The address seems to be just right. All this hassle just to get it fixed, eh? Is it here? Is it in a private house? <laughs> the stickers on the door, anyway. John Doctor? Yes. Please. Gotta take our shoes off. John Doctor? Yes. It seems like a shared workspace. Oh, in here? Here it is. Salam alaikum. I'm not Uttara Takiashti. Bush, please. Okay. We're here at Drone Doctor, and what's your name, sir? Uh, my name is Iman. 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 Okay, we're here because I saw your vlog with Dodo Explorers, and you yeah. fixed their Mini 2. Did a great job on it. And now we're going with the drone to go fix it, because I saw on the internet a guy. His name is the Drone Doctor, and supposedly he's the best uh, drone fixer around Dhaka, so we are going to check it out and see I don't know if he can fix it or not. I'm sorry, what's your name? Imon. Imon. 
Okay, so we're here with Imun and he is trying to make our drone work perfectly. <laughs> so basically the problem, this is my uh, DJI Air 2S. After I crashed it into some cables, basically the focus doesn't work on it. Mm -hmm. And also the gimbal is a little bit unsteady randomly. So when I flew afterwards, it was shaking a little bit in parts. Other than that, it seems to be working okay. But it's just the focus, so it's no good to me if I can't take photos. I have to take it first? Yes, of course. Okay. Please give me the remote, please. Okay. The focus works close, but not uh, from a distance. I know, I know, I know. Is the camera issue? Yes. And I think uh, the, the whole camera sensor needs to be replaced. Okay. Did you? Did you, uh, there were phone cables or going across the road. I didn't see them. Well, not Shana. There's no problem because it's part of life. I don't get upset by things like that. So, because your health is more important. This is just a piece of plastic. That's all it is. Exactly. Because you can earn more money, but if you lose your health. You know, that's not replaceable. I was born in Hobby Gonge, went over to UK as a child, but for the last few years I've been living in Ireland. Ireland. I'm English, but I'm not English. Easy, easy. I'm not English. Hobby Gonge, I'm not English. And this is my cousin Forhad, <laughs> my guide. He's a drone doctor. He's a location to the Oh, Dodo Explorers, if you remember those Romanian vloggers who were here uh, a year and a half ago. Michael and Gigi from Romania. And I saw their vlog and then I remembered they brought their oh, Mini 2 because I think in Bogra they submerged it. It went underwater in, in when Borisha. they were there. Oh, Borishal, sorry, Borishal. I get Bogra and Borishal mixed up <laughs> at the floating market there. So how many years have you been doing this for? Uh, around three years. Three years, wow. Well, your reputation reached Ireland because I heard about you. <laughs> We're up on the roof now and Emon is testing it out. But without the propellers, so I think it's more the GPS he's testing out on it. Do you have data? Mobile data? Yeah. So, successfully logged into my DJI account so he can continue. Well, it's not going to take off because there's no propellers on it. Take off. Okay, I understood. The GPS is working fine. Okay. Now I'm seeing the only gimbal issue. Okay. If I try to calibrate the gimbal. Then so what up? Okay. 
So Imon is now going to tell me what needs to be done to the drone. Okay, I have checked uh, the device uh, finally. Uh, I can see the camera sensor is damaged and it can't focus on uh, on subject. And the gimbal got some issues. There is some few part uh, in this gimbal uh, around five to seven. Okay, after fully check up, I can say which part of the gimbal is really damaged and which part need to be replaced. Then we can say you the final price. Okay, thank but you. So I've left the drone now with him. So we should hear from him in the next couple of days to see how it's progressing and what the damage is. And he also showed me some photos of when Michael and Gigi from Dodo Explorers went to him to get their DJI Mini 2 fix. So now we're in the hustle and bustle of Dakar. We're going to walk it to Basundala shopping city because Cousin Farhad wants to get a screen for his phone because he wasn't able to get one for so long they weren't available due to the model he had. So, oh my goodness, it is crazy with all the noises that I'm have to, having to shout. <laughs> but due to the flyover above that, uh, I don't think that's the Metro line, is it? It might be, or is it for traffic? Anyone local who's watching this, you can tell me. It's hard to suss it out these days. So now we just have to wait patiently for the next train. And the ticket actually looks quite cool as well. It's got some Bangladesh landmarks on it. It has, so I'll give you a closer look. From left to right, the Shahid Minar, which is the national monument for, oh, it's a national martyrs monument. Then you have, sorry, my mistake. It's, where's Farhad? What's the Shahid Minar about? Was it to do with the language? Because this one is a language, Okay, but what is the Shahid Minar monument to celebrate? Celebrate which day? To, what's it to celebrate? What does it celebrate? I forget. <laughs> He's useless. I think it's to do with the national language, Bengali. And then you have the national monument, and then you have the parliament building, and then I think that's meant to be a water lily, the national flower of Bangladesh. English Worcester Falenni. Yeah. Okay, so. Chen, I'm going to go to the hotel. 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 i তখন আমি কিছু সার্চ সার্চ করে দেখলাম যে এই নামটা আমার খুব পছন্দ হয়েছে আর কি তখন এই কারণে আর কি খুব শর্টকাটে আর কি না খুব কম সময় ডিসিশনে এই নামটা আমরা বেছে নিয়েছিলাম আর কি অনেক ডক্টর দেখছি বাট ড্রোন ডক্টর দেখিনি এই জন্য আজকে দেখলেন হ্যাঁ আজকে ড্রোন ডক্টর দেখলাম এই জন্য এই নামটা বেছে নিছেন জি জি কি কি ড্রোন ঠিক করেন আপনারা সে কি কি ড্রোন আসছে বা কি কি কিভাবে সার্ভিস দিতে শুধুমাত্র ডিজেই গুলোই সার্ভিস করি আপাতত আমরা ওই ড্রোন গুলো ফিক্স করতে পারি না